everybody, Jennifer from Scrapping Under the Influence. I am here today with just a project share. There is not a tutorial on this um, because I was using files from, cut files from um, an outside source that I did not create that are not part of Design Space, so makes it a little bit difficult to do a tutorial. Um, I can tell you where to get the cut files, but that's about the extent of it. So I have the Doodle Bug Night Before Christmas paper. I tried to get to this before Christmas and just it was busy and I didn't have time. So that's why it's just now getting done. But I loved, loved, loved this paper. That was the whole inspiration for doing this book is because it does kind of walk through the night before Christmas, which is what the paper line does, especially the odds and ends that came that are part of the paper line. So, um, huge, huge package of them. I've used maybe half of them. It's just crazy how many there are. But you can kind of see from this, yeah, a little bit, you know, there's just so many elements that just kind of tell that, that story of the, um, the night before Christmas. And um, that's what I went with. So, this is a shaped album. I used a cut file from Lori Whitlock's shop. Um, one of the doodle bug cut files from Christmas Town, and I can link that as well. Um, I've got the uh, shape sprinkles, little Christmas lights here, and then I use some doodle bug twine to along the top of those, you know, for the the string for the lights. These are two of the um, odds and ends that I cut their shutters off and used the shutters that matched everything. Um, I've got some shape or some glitter dots. I can't remember the actual name of them. Uh, and then some of the chit chat pieces. I did go around the raw chipboard edge on the shaped album because that's the one thing you run into doing shaped albums is you do have that raw chipboard that ends up being exposed. But I went around those to cover those up with the doodle bug chunky twine, which I have a huge stash of because I absolutely love it for that reason. Once you open this up, and like I said, it does kind of go through, you know, night before Christmas. I've got a big shaker pocket here. Behind that, I've got two of the uh, journaling card lists from the collection in there. Again, more of the odds and ends and the chit chat. Here I created a file for the little staircase for the little kids from the doodle, or I'm sorry, the odds and ends to come down. Uh, the little sentiments there are from the, um, oh my gosh, uh, chit chat. I'm losing my mind. There is a pocket back here behind the staircase and I've got just a couple more of those cut aparts in there. Again, the odds and ends and the chit chat. This opens up, it's held closed with a magnet, and we've got plenty of space for pictures. It's a big pocket here. I've got a big insert in the middle here. And then I've just used the mini icon stickers and the icon stickers, um, and then stuff from the sticker sheet in here. So you've got a bunch of picture, room for pictures there. And really, this album was meant to showcase the odds and ends because I just absolutely love these with this collection. It's so cute. So here we've got, <clears throat> excuse me, the kids in their beds, you know, the little windows with Santa outside. You've got your little mouse looking out of their little, their little house there. Um, the visions of sugar plums. This was one of the border strips that I just cut down to put up there. Again, cut aparts that I trimmed down so that they would fit on either side. These pages do mirror each other. So there's a magnet there. And this opens up, and then we've just got a very small 4x6 waterfall. And then again, on this side as well, just, you know, very simple. The next page, we've got, you know, our little living room. Here's Santa with his sack and the chimney and his nice list. And we've got the little kitty sleeping in the chair next to the milk and cookies, and there's the Christmas tree. And this was another one of the border strips that I cut down. And again, these pages whoops, mirror each other. There is a magnet. Um, just sticker sheet, um, icon stickers. These are some of the little word stickers from the main collection sticker sheet and a couple of the epoxy shapes. You know, plenty of room there for pictures. 
and then those both flip up and again a lot more room for pictures and same thing down here and then this one I used the tree cut file to create a um, acetate pocket that's got that little tree on the top half of it so that's the same on both sides with uh, pockets and then I've just got the little presents and things from the odds and ends and the little um, stockings and then the uh, ornaments that I cut from with some of the petite prints and then I put some of the um, oh spectrum noir sparkle um, paint on top of last night so it could dry overnight and then the back page I just took that same little roof here cut it in another color and put it on the front of this pocket and again there's some cut aparts in there I backed this little guy from the odds and ends on some of the new great artisan cardstock from country craft creations and put him there and then I've got my little um, Christmas light border from the chit chat and then again we've got another shaker here that again is a pocket so you can put stuff back behind here I was gonna maybe do a couple a photo mat to slide in here and I decided not to um, and you've got Santa flying away and then there was this little piece that was in the odds and ends and it had that same little green house that I used to make the book itself so that was you know just something kind of fun too to that I could have that same house on the inside of the book and the same little Santa that's on the roof at the front flying away into the night and then the back of course is just the back side of the house I've got the windows all the way around and the little um, window sills and whatnot and those do not want to stay unbent for some reason <laughs> and there you go so that is my project um, like I said this there's not gonna really be a tutorial for this if you have questions you can always reach out to me and I can kind of explain a little more with what I did um, but because I can't share the cut files for this, I didn't think there was a whole lot of point to really doing a full tutorial on this because it was going to get a little bit complicated in trying to manipulate the cut files in the way that I did. So um, if you have any questions, by all means, let me know. But I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching.